Augustine of Hippo, Confessions, Book 1, Episode 44. Tu etiam mihi dabas no le omplius quam dabas, et nutrientibus me dardre mihi vele quod eis dabas, dare ene mihi per ordinatum affectum volebant quo abundabant ex te. You also, tu etiam, were giving me or granting me not to want, no le, more than you were giving. So, dabas no le, and then the object of no le is amplius quam dabas. You were granting to me not to want more than you were granting. And to those who were nursing me, nutrientibus me, nutrientibus is a feminine plural and dative. So here we have the dative and now another dative. And to those who were nursing me, me as the accusative object of the participle nutrientibus, you were granting, dabas is implicit, dare mihi vela, to want to give to me. So you gave those who were nursing me the desire to give to me what you were giving to them, quoreis dabas. The syntax here, I would say, in this part, is fairly sophisticated. Dabas, amplius quam dabas, dare, quoreis dabas, and I believe the reason that he has put the sentence together this way is to show the close interconnection of the various parties. God grants to Augustine not to want more than God was giving, and God grants to those nursing Augustine to want to give to Augustine what he, God, was giving to them, that is, the nurses. It's a very interconnected relationship that Augustine seeks to describe. I should say, rather than a relationship, it's an interconnected set of relationships. And now the conclusion of this part. For, to give to me, dara mihi, through the affection or the feeling that you had ordained, this was what they wanted. Or we could say, for they were wanting to grant to me through the feeling, the affectum, that you had ordained. It is a feeling, moreover, in which, quo, so the antecedent of quo is affectum, and it is therefore masculine and singular, like affectum, but it is ablative, an ablative of instrument, as it turns out, whereas affectum is accusative, object of pair. An affectum, a feeling, an impulse, in which they were abounding, or which they had in abundance, we might say, from you. So God gave to his mother and his nurses the desire, the affectum, or the impulse, to take care of Augustine, and in fact, in this impulse, they were abounding from God. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.